Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be sharing two products with you using the Scott Holiday uh, die set and another older die called Pop-Up Wiper Insert. But I will start off by creating my own stencil. I took one of the dog images here, the one that is looking like he's running or jumping and I cut him out several times out of some acetate uh, this is a an heavy acetate. You can use some recycled plastic or whatever you have in your stash and just run it through your machine a couple of times and you will get this look. And um, then I will do some one of my favorite techniques and that is just ink blending a rainbow. So I took a couple of uh, distress inks here and my favorite blending brushes and I went over my panel in a couple of... Um, uh, different shades of uh, uh, pink and red and uh, yeah all the colors of the rainbow and you can see all the dogs get two colors I think that is important because that looks like uh, the image is continuous over the page if you do it that way and it also makes uh, for a fun blend uh, between the colors in these images and you can see some of the colors isn't contrasting enough and then I might bring in a third color as well so I'm doing this um, just playing and having a good time and since this acetate is quite um, thin I'm making sure that I'm also pressing down the acetate uh, towards the paper when I'm going over my image so I don't get any of the ink seeping underneath my stencil here and if that would happen I will show you uh, a trick uh, here so this is how it looks when I'm peeling my stencil off and another trick to mask any mistakes that you might have done with your stenciling I'm just going over my ink uh, with some of the ink that is left in the brush uh, over my white background here, over the images that we just um, inked and that just makes these background pop a little bit and you can see I used pretty much the same color so I had the blue in, on the top and the yellow uh, orange color in the middle and uh, the red violent color down uh, in the bottom so that is really fun and then I saved one of the dogs that I cut out of the acetate and we will do the reverse of this so I'm taking some low tack adhesive that is removable so I'm just coating my little dog here um, and then I will try to place him down as center as I can and I will actually end up I think doing this uh, all over again here in a second but I will um, use my ink blending brushes again and just going over my dog image here you can see I thought that looked a little bit too heavy so I started off I just turned my paper around and tried again on the other side uh, I just wanted this really smooth halo look around our dog image here so I didn't like those hard edges um, and I'm using the same colors as I did in my previous project just alternating between um, two colors and making the transition look as smooth as possible and I'm sorry I'm a little bit off camera here but you will see that I'm <laughs> now shifting my paper slightly up and when I was done with this you can see uh, how it looks I really like it and I also did some splatters uh, on top of my dog image just to make some of the imperfections look a little bit less imperfection and you can if you don't have a stamp that makes small dots like this you can also do it uh, the traditional way with a paint uh, black acrylic paint uh, paint and uh, a brush that you're just flicking on to your project but I'm quite lazy and I think that is just messy. <laughs> so to be honest, I'm loving these stamps that just create uh, um, splatters. So here I'm carefully peeling off uh, our dog and I will go in with an adhesive eraser. That is really a handy tool to have in your stash and remove some of the adhesive that might have been stuck on top of our cardstock. And when we are done with that, we can go ahead and put a sentiment on top of this card and embellish him a little bit more. So in this die set it also comes with a sheer uh, sentiment as well as a couple of bows and I use them 
as you can see here and I think it's really it's really cute and the sentiment I popped up of course because I just love dimension <laughs> on my projects so this is some black glitter cardstock that I cut that out of and for the eye I'm just popping it out and gluing it on so here is that second die set that I talked about previously and I will only use the sentiment and the banner that is supposed to be um, you can have it on the inside on, or on the outside if you like but um, I really like to combine these sentiments and just have it on the outside as well I had a previous project um, in the beginning of this month when we introduced the new release where I used the same die set I have a blog post if you like to see that card as well so for adhering my uh, card panels on top of some A2 size card fronts I decided to go with some liquid glue just because it's really easy and yeah these cards are pretty much done if you like them please go ahead and give this video a thumb up it really helps me out and it only makes YouTube know that you like the content and you would like to see more and it also helps if you give this video a thumb up I really appreciate it and um, I have some more still shots over at uh, iCrafters uh, uh, blog so I will leave links down below for that as well as links for all of the products until next time have a great day Bye!